has a big boating community and a community of people excited to watch the solar eclipse in April. And when those two things come together, it can make a rare experience even more special. Kelly Dudzik has the story on how people in New York are making that happen. For those three minutes or so of darkness, it's nighttime. You'll see the stars. It'll be beautiful. Captain Bill Zimmerman runs Seven Seas Sailing of Buffalo, and he's ready for people from all over the world to come to Buffalo for the eclipse. So there's going to be a lot of boaters that are experienced or inexperienced, experienced with these waters or not so experienced with these waters. He wants to make sure people have their life jackets and navigational lights or a flashlight if you're going to be in a canoe or a kayak. But look out for people that are in danger. Um, there's nothing like the obstruction of no lights seeing that there's a canoe ahead. And there might be some unruly people that are going too fast. But if you can find a safe place to anchor or stay away from things, and stay away from things like the, the walls, other boats, and just keep safe. Ensign Bridget Baldwin with the U.S. Coast Guard will be keeping people safe that day. She spent the past six months getting ready for it. Just because it's 60 degrees and sunny outside doesn't mean that the water's warm. We're actually expecting the water to be like 40 degrees on that day. So our concern is that people are getting out there and they're not really considering the temperatures. So 10 minutes in exposure to 50 degree or less water is actually life threatening. So we just want to make sure that the equipment's there and on board, the boats are properly maintained and that um, functioning radio so they can communicate with us and other boaters. If you're going out on a boat, Baldwin says to tell friends and family what your plan is. So if something happens, they can tell the Coast Guard. Zimmerman is very experienced on the water, but he told me he's staying put on land on April 8th. He says he's handling this like it's July 4th. When there's a whole mass of people with no rules and there's fireworks, they're out on the water. I don't rent boats for that event. And uh, think about St. Patty's Day. If you like to go to pubs and things like that, it's not the best day to go to pubs because there's a lot of amateurs out there. So well, there's too many unknowns here. If the weather's good, it's going to be packed. If the weather's not good, that's another thing to be concerned about. But there'll be a lot of people on the water that day. And just have fun if you're cautious, if you're... Uh, very safe. You're going to be having a lot of fun. However, you're planning on viewing the eclipse, it will only be visible in certain parts of Maine, including Holton. We'll have coverage on April 8th, the day of the eclipse and the days leading up to it. You can text the word eclipse to 828-6622 to get a link to more information.